Hello, and this is the part one of the video handover of a Zafira 685, uh, our hire van. Um, now, your onboard charger and fuses are just underneath the oven in this cupboard just here. So you just push that and release, and then open that, and there's your trip switches just there. And also, you've got your gas isolation valves just there. Your 12 volt control system, which is just above the fridge up here. So on this one, you've got your on and off button. So it's on now. Next one up for your lights. You may have to individually go and turn on your lights around. And there are, will be some underneath the cupboards where you can see they've got a blue light. Touch the blue light and the light will come on. Next one up to check your leisure battery voltage. Next one is your water, so fresh water is blue. Click that button again, the red, that shows you how much waste water you've got. Down here to turn your pump on. Now you need to turn that on in order to use the taps and the shower and also the toilet flush. Next one up is your awning light, vehicle battery voltage and the temperature inside just there as well. Now to operate your refrigerator and freezer, so what all you need to do is the on and off button, hold that down till it lights up. There we go. Now to change the, how to, to fuel it up, you hold down this square just here and it'll start flashing. You can now change it with the arrow. So you've got a hookup, you've got vehicle battery, you've got it on gas or a means automatic, so it'll automatically find what you're on if it's the vehicle's battery is running or if you're on hookup or if you're on gas. I would most likely leave it on A and it would always find it for you anyway. Once you've chosen it, you then press that button again. To know that the fridge is on, the lights here will be on as well inside. To turn the fridge off, hold the button down and it'll just go off there on its own as well. Now, in the kitchen area, you've got the cupboard here above the hobs. So to open the cupboard, pull down the handle. In here, you've got your toaster, your mugs, beakers, plates, dinner plates, side and bowls, sorry, and your kettle are in here. Now, in the cupboard under the sink, which is this one just here, again, push and release. You've got your cutlery, cleaning products, pots and pans about there, kitchen utensils and your chopping board, all there for you. Now for your water heater and your heating is under the one of the single beds in the back, the one on your left hand side just in front of the shower. So all you have to do is lift up the bed. And under the bed is where you'll find your Truma iNet box just here. This is to use it for heating for hot water or for heating. So to turn it on, press that button just there and it'll pop on. As you can see, the icon that's flashing is the one that's selected. So because I'm on the motorhome with the thermometer in it, that's for the heating of the motorhome. So I'm going to select that by pushing that button and then I can choose a degree. You can go all the way up to 30 degrees to heat up the boat home or whichever. So I'll choose 17 just there. Turn the, the dial here and then the next icon's flash. And this icon here is um, heat hot water. So I'm going to select that. So I'm going to want it on hot and turn it again. I'm going to choose now how to heat it up. So first option's gas. You then got a mixture of gas and electricity mixture of gas and electricity again so you've got electric one electric two so that all depends on what amperage you are on at the campsite so i'll choose electric turn again and then you choose how fast you want the the fan speed to be going such so as eco and, and that's it to turn it off hold in the black button and eventually it'll say off there you go
Now in the kitchen area under here you've got your three gas hobs which have tells you which is for which hob just here you push down and it's got its own igniter big flame or small flame underneath is your oven and grill so you've got your oven um wrap here you can move it up for the grill down for the oven and you've got your igniter here ovens to the left and grills to the right you'd have to push in just there and hold down your igniter Now opening and closing the windows, so all the windows are push the button and release the handle. Push it out and then you've got these bits here to twist to tighten them and twist to undo them to allow them to, the window to drop back down. You can also put these into the... Oh, sorry, the gap just there, like that. And you can still get your fingers through there in order to have a nice flow of air through the night but before driving off remember to fully close them you must push the button to close them as well just like that now your toilet and shower so your shower is just here just in front of the one of the rear beds. Toilets in here. Now this door will close all the way. So it closes like that so it locks you from the front. And the toilet's just in here with your sink. Um, now to, to go to the toilet, what you have to do is slide the blade here, go to the toilet, flush the toilet and close that over again. The toilet does swivel as well if needed. Now your skylights as well so all three skylights are so you push the button and then all you have to do is move the bar that goes up on each different groove there and then to close it push it back over the button just there for you you've also got the fly screen and a blind on them as well as well as on your windows you've got fly screen pull down and it locks push down goes up same for the blind, push down, it locks, push down, it will release and goes back up. Now if you're wanting a double bed at the back here, there's cushions underneath the bed there and all you'd have to do is lift this over and then it'll just sit onto this groove just here and put, place your cushions in there and you just sleep transversely just here on that bed. If you want them to leave it a single bed, you just leave it as that. And then you've got an electric drop down double bed at the front. All you have to do is push this button. And this will stop on its own. And there's a ladder in the garage for you to get up onto here. You've got a net here just so you don't fall out of the bed. You've also got a ladder for the rear bed if you make it into a double, that's in the garage as well. And then push the button up and it will go back up to the roof. Your smoke alarm is just above the cupboard up here and your carbon monoxide alarm just in front behind the shower, sorry, there for you. You've got silver screens for the, the cab area, they are in your garage so they just stick onto the window. You've got your first aid kit in the passenger door just there. Uh, reversing camera, that'll appear up on here and your sensors are just there as well. To get into reverse, you lift the neck of the gear stick and push round. Um, you've got cruise control in here and Bluetooth as well. The chairs do swivel um, in here as well. So there is um, two bars, one that pushes it back, which is this one just here. And then this little bar here pull towards you and then the chair will twist round for you. You will also sometimes have to go forwards and backwards with the chair in order to get it round. Go. And the breakdown cover number is going to be in the cupboard here just with your handbooks which are just in here. 
and the dimensions and speed limits are in the top right hand corner of the windscreen for the driver just there for you as well and that's the interior of the 685 